our meeting. First of all, no one's in trouble. We're not going to kick you out. At least not all of you. But I'm just kidding. Just here for a couple reminders to remind you exactly what needs to be done, what you need to be doing, and how to kind of maintain your place in National Junior Honor Society. The first thing that I want you to make sure that you understand is submitting hours. Okay, I know that most people know how to do that. Most people have been doing that correctly. There have been a couple people that have had some issues, a couple people that have had some questions, so I want to make sure that all that is clear. If you have your iPad with you, go ahead and grab that, take that out. Okay, another thing, while you're doing that, just so you know, Mr. Henderson's email is JK. Just so kidding. if you're getting it sent back, it is JK initials Henderson at hse.k12. A lot of people are getting emails kicked back or they're like, you never responded because you have to have JK Henderson. Yup. So make sure that you see that or that you, if you're sending an email to him, that you have his correct email address. Alright guys, once you're on your iPad, or honestly if you want to use your phones at this point, that's totally fine. Make your way to, you can go to Google, go to Safari, whatever. You need to look at FJH NJHS. It is the first search result. And it's going to pull up this website that you see on the screen. Go ahead and pull that up. If you were doing it on your phone, it may look a little bit different than what I have on the screen. It is the exact same website. Whatever you do, first of all, not everything has been fully updated yet with officers. I blame Mr. Sturgeon 100%. You can go yell at him for that if you have a problem with it. In the meantime, you are focused on this section right here. Hours and requirements, or hour requirement and forms. Whenever you have hours to submit, whether you have completed those hours on your own, whether you have signed up through Remind for one of the events that we are offering, this is where you will find those events to do hours for. It says right here, upload your first semester hours, go to this link. So you, shockingly, go to that link. Once you do, you will have to log in using your account information. This is how it keeps track of who is who. If you're just joining us, go ahead and go to Google or wherever, go to FJH. NJHS. NJHS. First search result. First search result. So it's going to ask you, first question is, was this an NJHS sponsored event? Meaning, was this one of the events that we sent out on Remind and that you signed up for? If the answer to that is yes, so let's say you did the um, concession, stand. concession stand. That is an NJHS event. You say, yep, I sure did. That is an NJHS event. Perfect. Select which one you did. You did fall concessions. Cool. Each one leads to the next. How many hours did you volunteer? This is where you're going to have to get a little bit math oriented. Which, if you have me as a teacher, you know I hate math, but we have to do a little bit of math here. So, if you volunteer for, let's say, three hours, then right here, you would enter three. Okay? Pretty simple. Let's say that you volunteered for... Three hours and 15 minutes. 15 minutes is a quarter of an hour. 3.25. Do not put 3.15 for 15, because that's not going to work. If you volunteer for three and a half hours, 3.5. I've had some people who have some really funky things in the form they're doing right here because they're not paying attention to that rule. So if you volunteer, let's say you volunteer for like three hours and 50 minutes. Okay, if it's three hours and 50 minutes, anything in that 50 range, yes, you can round up to the next hour. That's fine. Okay, but if it is, let's say it's three hours and 36 minutes, do not round up to four hours. Okay, because that's still half an hour that you have left to volunteer. So if you have questions about that, please see me. But for the most part, I'm going to ask you to use your own common sense. Mr. Surgeon, everyone. That is the lamest applause I've ever heard in my life. Oh, he doesn't get applause. He did not update the officers on the website. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was great. Good job, guys. All right. The next thing that you do, make sure that you say whenever you volunteered for this event. Okay? So you probably need to know what day you volunteered. Guys, this still applies, even if it's not an NJHS event. 
So if you refresh this form, and let's say we get rid of this, let's say it is not an NJHS event. So say no, it wasn't. Here you need to describe how you volunteered. Okay, when it snows, are you shoveling driveways for your neighbors? Are you walking neighborhood dogs for free? Are you going around to your neighborhood park and picking up garbage? All of those will qualify as ways that you can volunteer. Are you volunteering at your church? Are you volunteering at the Humane Society? All of those are viable options. If you are wondering how you can volunteer, you need to reach out to one of us. We can provide you a bunch of different opportunities for you to actually get some hours. So ask us if you need to. So you describe exactly what you need to volunteer, and then you do the exact same thing as you do for the other one. How long did you volunteer, and when did you do it? Once you do all that, you click submit, and then I have that information. The only thing you need to make sure that you do is you also need that information, okay? So either have a note running on your iPad, something somewhere, write down what your hours are. The reason that I want you to do that is because I want to avoid at the end of the semester all those emails that say, Mr. Henderson, how many hours do I have? Okay, you should keep track of your own hours as well as me. Okay, that way I don't get, you know, 84 different emails from 84 different students wanting to know how many hours they have. Okay, keep track of that. As far as hours, reminders. Today, or actually no, Friday, is the midterm for second nine weeks which means you have been through about 75% of the semester. You need, before the end of the day, on the 17th of December, that is the last day of the semester, you need to have volunteered at least 10 hours, okay? So for those of you who have been putting this off a little bit, because I know we tend to do that because we get busy, for those of you who have put this off, you need to start thinking about that, okay? You need those 10 hours. Any questions about submitting hours or what counts or what doesn't count? Cool. That's like never happened. All right. Uh, Ms. Oski, you want to talk a little bit about grades? Uh, okay. Talk about remind real fast. Yes. Talk about remind real fast. Um, also remind everyone uh, on this chapter is in there. I've checked everyone off the list. If there is an event you sign up for and for some reason you cannot attend, you must find a replacement. Okay, uh, we are getting more and more from elementary schools, things of that sort. If you sign up and then don't show up, that hurts them and their event. So you need to find a replacement. Again, you can go to your officer, say, I signed up for this event. I'm not able to attend. Something came up last minute. I got sick. Whatever the reason, you can't attend. You have to find a replacement. Officers, raise your hand. Any one of these people can help you with that. That is part of their role as an officer for NJHS. Um, I will send out a remind at the end of school today, probably around 5, 6 o'clock. Uh, we are going to start recycling back up again. Um, on the remind, make sure you read the directions. You have to be able to volunteer for that whole entire month. So it will be on Tuesdays only, um, and each month is a little different. Some only have two dates, some have four dates, depending on the month, depending on vacations and such. So look for that remind coming out on recycling. Um, I did send up another sign up last night for the grandparents. Uh, there are four more spots. Hopefully those got uh, filled. Um, that's it for, um, I do need, and again, I didn't put this out in a remind, um, peer volunteers. It's kind of like tutoring slash helping. Miss Clutch has uh, help sessions in the morning starting at 8.30, Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. If that's something that you think you're interested in, come see me. She, you will be helping assist her with labs and missing work that kids have. Um, she will take up the two volunteers. So if you want to do just Tuesdays or just Wednesdays or just Thursdays, I can take up to six kids for that. I'd like to have two for each day. So if you're interested in that, let me know. Um, also, I need a volunteer for Mrs. Miller. Uh, she's in the resource department. She would like a volunteer during best. And again, that's probably on Tuesdays things of that sort. I know there's a lot going on on Tuesdays because of meetings and things of that sort, but if you think you can get down there and help assist, that would be fantastic. And then I did talk to a couple people about Miss Randall needs an assistant, someone who preferably can speak Arabic. Um, come see me. I talked to a couple of you um, to help with that during best Tuesdays as well. Okay. Um, as far as some other volunteer opportunities, I've had a few people ask me 
how many more opportunities are there going to be for NJHS sponsored events? Guys, the truth behind that is I don't know. Okay, it's whoever comes to us saying that they need help. So if we find that there are not enough NJHS events for everyone to get that event, then we might take that off the table as a requirement. Okay, we're not going to make this any harder for you guys than it has to be. Uh, as far as table washing, cafeteria, I've had a few people ask me about that. The people that are currently table washers in the cafeteria, you are in that post until the end of this semester. Next semester, we will do a new sign up and those people at that point will be able to either sign up again or new people can sign up basically first come first serve. As far as grades are concerned, guys, keep in mind that is still a factor in you being an NJHS. That is one of the requirements. Good Lord, a lot of you inquire. Um, so go ahead and pull up Skyward. Go ahead and go to your grade report. So pull up Skyward, look at that. Remember the requirement is an A minus average. Which means you need to stay at that A minus average. It's not A minus average to get in and then you can fail everything. Okay, not that you guys will do that anyway. But you have to maintain those grades. Here's what happens. If you have a bad semester, maybe Mr. Gear gave you too much math homework yeah. and you couldn't get it done. Don't nod in agreement, that's rude. <laughs> if it just so happens that you do not maintain that A minus average, you are not automatically kicked out of National Junior Honor Society. That's not how that functions. Instead, at the end of the semester, we will evaluate grades. And if you unfortunately fall in that category, we have what we call probation. So if you are on probation, wow, it's not that scary, I calm down. If you are on probation, it basically just means that, hey, make sure you're keeping an eye on this. Okay, that's pretty much it. You need to focus a little bit more on your academics. You'll be on probation for that third nine weeks. So from January until roughly what, March? And then we will look again. If your grades have not improved, that's when things get a little bit ugly. Okay, so make sure that you are maintaining your grades. The same thing is true for hours. If you do not meet your 10 service hour requirement for the end of the semester, you will be placed on probation, meaning you still need to get the hours. This is just a little reminder for you. Hey, don't forget about this. If you do not meet those hours again, then we will have another conversation that you don't want to have. Also, discipline. Folks, Part of being a National Junior Honor Society is not acting a fool in school. So that is something that you need to maintain. If you are receiving referrals from teachers, we are going to have a conversation you are not going to enjoy. One of which you may be pulled in front of the Honor Council. That is all of the teachers that had a role in saying yes to you for Honor Society. You will come in either one morning or one afternoon, depending on what it is, and you will explain to that group of teachers why you did what you did and why you should stay in honor society. So there have been people that have been moved in the cafeteria. There have been people that have gotten in trouble in classes. Guys, that shouldn't be happening. If that's happening, then we have a real problem. Make sure you are keeping your behavior at a high standard because that high standard got you here. Okay, make sure you are rising above some of the junior high foolery that you see on a daily basis. If you have questions about that, you shouldn't have questions about that. But if you do, come talk to me. I should not be seeing Honor Society people moved in the cafeteria. I should not be hearing from teachers saying, why is this student acting a fool? If that continues, our next conversation is not going to be as friendly. All right, what else? Uh, back to grades. Looking at your grades from even the first nine weeks, <laughs> If you're concerned about your grades or what they look like, please go to that teacher. Go to that teacher and say, hey, what can I do? Or do you have help sessions? Um, on usually uh, Monday, no, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, you know, a lot of teachers are offering help sessions. If that's something that you need to um, go to, ask. Don't sit there and wait for us to come to you. Go to that teacher or find a buddy, find someone to help that, you know, you, that can help you. Okay, so make sure that you're being proactive about the grades. So look at it and see, okay, is National Junior Honor Society still something I want to do? If you're to the point where you're getting super, super stressed out because of the grade expectation or life in general is going on, then reevaluate. Okay? And, and we don't hold that against no. you guys. 
So we, we've had people in the past that have come to us and said, hey, uh, this is putting a lot of stress on me. Do I have to continue with it? Guys, we're not here to make you do anything that you don't want to do, okay? You volunteered, you filled out the application, you were accepted into the organization. Like we said two months ago, okay? National Junior Honor Society is all about being a great human being, okay? It is a service organization, maintaining those high standards, basically proving that you are that great human being that, you perceive, that we perceived you as on that application. So if this is crippling you with stress, if this is overwhelming you with anxiety, then it's okay to not continue within JHS, okay? We're not gonna hold it against you. We're not gonna put you know, a nasty red marker on your picture and just cross you off, okay? It's not for everyone and that's okay. So make sure that with Honor Society, that it is still something that you want to continue to be in. That you want to continue, not your parents. Not your parents. Not your friends, you. It is about you. Which is something that teachers rarely say. So keep that stuff in mind, keep your grades in mind. Uh, if there are ever any issues with hours, if there are ever any issues with anything, guys, send us an email. If you're just emailing me, make sure you email the right email. I don't know who has Jay Henderson at hsc.k12.in.us. But a lot of they get a lot of emails and I don't get quite as many. So make sure that you are looking at all of that information. Make sure that you are on Remind. Everyone. Make sure you're keeping up with your hours. Any lingering questions about anything and everything in JHS? Wow. We, we are going to try with the schedule to try to meet. Again, we tried to meet last week, but that didn't happen. Once a month or once every two months, just so you can ask questions, things of that sort. Um, and we can meet and mingle, things of that sort. So ask questions. Um, again, if you're interested, we do have a couple minutes left. If you're interested in being a morning or afternoon tutor, let me know. That does count as hours. Um, it will be a half hour for each time that you volunteer for that. Remember, next semester, a little bit further off, but who knows when we can actually meet again because Tuesdays are clearly, there's a lot going on. Um, next semester, before induction, the induction ceremony for you to officially be inducted into NJHS, that will happen about the middle of May, before the end of the school year. In order to be inducted, you have to maintain your grades and you have to complete all of your hours. A lot of those pillars that we talked about on Super Happy Fun Night, you fill by filling out your application. But those are two that you have to prove throughout the school year. Along with citizenship, basically it means don't get in massive trouble. Um, for next semester, the hour requirement goes up a little bit. You will need 15 hours before the middle of May. Now, for some of you, some of you have already filled that requirement. I've had emails from some people. Some people already have 25 hours. Okay, those people who have 25 hours, your service requirement is fulfilled. So if you didn't want to volunteer at all anymore from now until the middle of May, technically you don't have to. But also keep in mind that at induction, there are additional awards for service hours. So if you go way above and beyond service hour wise, you will be recognized for that. The person who gets the most service hours will be recognized even more. So if you want to use that as a motivator, if you are someone who is insanely competitive, then challenge your friends. I'm going to get more hours than you do. I'm literally a better person than you. You are more than welcome to tell someone that, just be able to back it up. Um, biggest thing, guys, is maintain where you're at. Okay? We looked at grade reports. We looked at your first time we grades. You guys are doing really well, especially in a year that is still challenging because of COVID. You guys are still doing very well. There are some of you that you may have stumbled a little bit. And if that's the case, then bring that grade back up because you still have time to make that right. Your, or your first nine week grades don't play a role in you going on probation or not. That's only the semester. So if you are concerned about your grades, come talk to us. But if you are doing great with those grades, then keep on keeping on, guys. No reason why we have to stop now. If you do not have any questions, we have approximately five minutes left. If you need to talk to Ms. Oske about one of those volunteer opportunities, please do so. She's going to be over there. Otherwise, guys, we don't mind if you mingle, but please keep it down.